From this lecture, you will learn how to use the at web filter annotation to create a servlet filter class. Right click on the package and say new filter. Give it a name, hello filter and hit finish. As you can see, Eclipse marks this filter class with the at web filter annotation from the servlet API, but it still implements the filter interface. We can have multiple URL patterns here to do that. We can use the URL patterns just like how we did it with the at web servlet annotation is equal to within flower brackets. We leave the existing one as is comma. Let's take the URL pattern for our servlet. Hello annotation servlet so that this filter will be applied to the, our servlet and use that pattern here. Now go to the do filter method and before it chains it off, let's simply say system dot out dot print ln in here inside the filter. To learn the concepts of filter, you can go through my servlet playlist again. Everything is explained there in detail. This is only a demonstration of the annotations. Now to run it, go back to our servlet class, right click, don't run the filter, but run our servlet class, right click on the servlet, run as, run on server, hit finish, okay. So when the servlet is accessed on the browser, it displays the response from the servlet, but on the Tomcat console, you see the Tomcat console in Eclipse, you see that it goes to the filter first and inside the filter can be seen on the console which we have printed in the do filter method before the request is chained to the servlet. You can also use the at web init params just like how we have used it in the servlet class. This init params can be used inside the filter as well and we can have an init method. 